As the eviction exercise to remove the squatters from the Ember Boot Forest, which hold the Cherangani Water Tower, continues, questions abound as to whether the exercise is being done in the right manner following the burning of houses in the area. We visited the area today to see the situation on the ground and from above one can clearly see the demolished houses with few people left behind trying to salvage the little that was left after their houses were burnt to ashes. <laughs> on the ground we meet with Johnson Kimutai, one of the victims, and he bitterly explains to us how they were hurriedly kicked out of a place they have called home for years. <laughs> kunywa masi wapo na mpaka saa hizi hakuna kitu tulipewa wale wenye wale wenye sasa tumetolewa hakuna hatuna hatuna chochote hatuna mahali pa kwenda Kimutai says police officers came very early in the morning kicked them out of the houses and immediately touched their homes the police police walikuja wakachoma manyumba around 6:30 wamewasili wameanza unasitokea unaangalia nje mtu amekuja police police wamekuja wanachoma hata wasongeshi hata pite nyeko ndani kwa nyumba unaona unaona suburia imechomeka blangeti so ni hivyo tu we met with the county commissioner Ava Osia, who explains the reason behind the burning of the houses. Some individuals who are getting out during the day and getting back with the animals again during the night. So we decided that we should bring down all the structures so that we can fully take charge of the forest. According to Osia, the government identified three groups of people, the Sanguer community, whom he says are the genuine people who have nowhere to go. There are those who had land certificates who settled during the colonial days, though they had their homes elsewhere, and the ones who left their homes elsewhere and came to live with their relatives. We were not compensating each and every single individual who was squatting in the forest. There was an agreed criteria. A criteria agreed upon by the task force whose members were locals. So they agreed on a task force. So these 2874 are representative of everybody who was living in the forest. There are over 10,000 squatters at Ember Boot, and so far the government has compensated 2,800 families, while 3,000 more are expected to be compensated in the next few months once the government is through with the process of identifying who the genuine squatters are. This comes even as the area leaders have condemned the ongoing evictions, terming the burning of houses as primitive. Led by El Geo Marquet Governor Alex Togloss, the leaders say they are not opposed to the relocation of the squatters, but called on the government to conduct the process in a more humane way. The area senator Kipchumba Murkomen said the exercise should be conducted in a slower manner to ensure that villagers move out of the forest without damages. There are more modern, creative ways of demolishing a property other than burning. Because the whole world is watching and looking like we are burning our people and without caring about their interests. The evictions began after the 21-day notice to vacate the forest was issued by the government elapsed, forcing the government to kick the squatters out of the water catchment area. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.